welcome back as you are about to be invited to a seat at this table. We're still being joined by the Belleville High students. Now we've got one in our table and we've got the others joining us. You know, raping behind me, can I get a whoop whoop? <laughs> Love it for us. Now we've reached my favorite part of the show where we get to indulge in all the delicious food that we've made. As I've already said, not only are we being joined by the inspiring talents that are the Belleville High School students, but also sharing in the aspiration, dreams, love is none other than Chef Herman. Now, uh, Chef, I know you haven't been here from the top of the show, so I'm going to have to ask Dumi, can you run us through what we made? Most definitely, Balissa. We've got some delicious treats over here. We've got a creamy mushroom soup mm -hmm. that has an addition of those croutons that we baked mm -hmm. and just a bit of parsley at the top and some par parmesan. And then we've got that trend as well, another trend, which is that <laughs> <laughs> baked feta uh, pasta dish that is absolutely amazing with the tomato flavors in there. We've got some parsley and lemon zest in there. And then we've got the bread and butter pudding to finish it all off. And instead of bread, we've used our croissants mm. that just take very it all to very fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Elevating it all. Okay, Herman, please may you dish up for me. I want some pasta okay. um, and I want a little bit of bread pudding on the side. But whilst you do all of that, and I have to find out from you. They yes. do say the youth is the future, so no pressure. <laughs> but if, None at all. But if you were to just kind of forecast, push forward another 15, 10 to 15 years, where do you see yourself growing and becoming? Already your blazer is decked out with all the badges and all the colors. So girl, where are you gonna take this power? Honestly, at the beginning of the year, I was a little two-sided of what I wanted to do with my future, but I, decided on psychology. Oh, wow. It's quite interesting to me and I, I'm a very, I'm a people person and I, I like, I like to help people and I think that is where my passion lies. So that is what I see for my future. That's so, so that's, interesting. That is absolutely amazing because talking about psychology, there's like youth mental health is so important and so, so great that you're going in that direction. And as much as we are celebrating Youth Month, I think it is only important that we highlight young people that are doing great things. I mean, we've got children, uh, students here that are achieving in so many different mm. departments and that's just something okay. beautiful to see. And on that note, I have to just turn the attention then to you, Chef. When it comes to imagining the youth of today, what do you think is just so special about them? especially this generation? You know, I've had a lot of admiration for, for their can-do-anything attitude. Mm. I find it, uh, my generation, we were very sort of weary of just doing things. You know, you always had to have that sort of, someone did that so I can also achieve that mm. attitude. That's true. So nowadays, I, sound, I find myself surrounded by young people who go, I can actually be anything. The world is borderless. I'm a global citizen. I can yeah. be anything I want to be. And I think if you have that mindset, I mean, yeah. if we want to be anything we want to be, we can be the ones who change the world. Sure. You know, there's no limitations. I, love it. Always, I always think that the, the people, the younger generation, the younger people I meet now, is like the, the dreamers we were as kids. Mm. There's nothing that keeps them back. And I think that's important never to lose that. You know? Because that's what they say, Dumi. They say that at the end of the day, the job that you're going to have in the future probably doesn't exist yet. I know. So it forces you to be innovative and think out the box. So all the best to all of the youths out there and happy Youth Month. Happy Youth Month to everyone, Palisa. And it is not just one celebration this month. We are celebrating uh, Pride Month. So in a Alliance to all our LGBTQI uh, compatriots over out, out there. We are saying we celebrate you, we mm. love you, and we are celebrating all the youth. It is just a month of celebration. But I love that. Not only are we saying Amanda, but I want to see those rainbow flags mm. flying mm. high. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Herman, for the amazing surprise. I can tell uh, Leila is still... <laughs> calming down from that <laughs> shot. And thank you so much, um, Angelique. Not only coming through so eloquently, but showing that you can be and do anything you want to be. And to you guys, more power to you guys. <laughs> And peace. Now, we will be continuing our appreciation of the culinary trends on TikTok with kids from Silwood School of Cooking. I'm looking forward to that on Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Right here on S3. But until then, Mzansi City, good night, stay safe, and happy eating. Goodbye. Bye.